Hello everybody, this is just a quick audio test. Again, I repeat, just a quick audio test. We're just making sure that we're testing the audio levels. Again, Prentice and Columbus Catholic coming up here on Zaleski Sports. Our first day, first game of the day in baseball action. Again, softball action going on on the other side. You can check that out on Zaleski Sports here on YouTube. It is going to be Columbus Catholic versus Prentice in our first action. And then later it will be Columbus Catholic and Rubino Leona. But first we're going to bring you Columbus Catholic and Prentice. Again, this is just an audio test. We'll be ready to go after Columbus finishes their warm-ups. We'll see if Prentice warms up. They did just finish their game against Cumberland, so they may just be ready to go. We'll announce starting lineups and the start of this game in just a bit. Thanks. Testing. Okay. Sorry, I just want to make sure I could hear everything on my end. All right, sorry about that. All right, we're just going to start here. Hi, everybody. Welcome to beautiful Woodside Complex here in Mauston, Wisconsin, for today's matinee matchup. It's the Columbus Catholic Dons out of the Clover Belt East taking on the Marrowwood North team of Prentice, the Buccaneers and the Dons. Jack Weber here on Zaleski Sports on a cold but very beautiful Saturday, April afternoon, first weekend of April. Again, Easter was last weekend, so hopefully it's the start of spring. Had some... Uh, Less than favorable weather this week, unless you like the snow, and that's perfectly fine if you do. It is um, maybe starting to change a corner. The temperatures are going to rise a little bit. As we got baseball here today, one of our very first baseball games of the year. We had one last week. We were able to fit in a couple yesterday. Finally, the weather was our friend. It has not been our friend this week. But hopefully next week we can get back to our regularly scheduled programming and go on with the flow and start this spring season. It's always one of the best ones to be outside after the cold winters here in Wisconsin. So, again, Woodside Complex, Mawson, the high school baseball showcase. The Columbus Catholic Dons coming off a very good year, 16-8, and 10-2, and two, finished in the second place in the Clover Belt Conference behind Nielsville. They lost, though, in the regional semi, whatever, the first round regional to Blair Taylor. They're coached by Jared Cresswell. Meanwhile, Prentice, they're coming off a tough year, so looking to improve. They finished 1-16, 0-10, last in the Marrowwood North, and they lost 9-0 in their regional game to Clear Lake, and they are coached by Scott Robb. Well, we will start with the starting lineups. First for the Prentice Buccaneers, again announced by Coach Scott Robb, leading off and playing third base, number 33, Heston Heckman. Batting second and playing left field, number 23, Jonas Staroba. Batting third and catching, number four, Hardy Heckman. Batting fourth and playing center field, number nine, Aiden Hawes. Batting fifth and playing second base, number 17, Jax Franz. Batting fifth, no, batting sixth, sorry. Batting sixth and playing right field, number three, Adam Robb. Batting seventh and pitching, number six, Ryder Jones. Batting eighth and playing first base, number 13, Garrett May. And rounding out the order for the Buccaneers is the shortstop, number five, Eliah Harding. And now for the Dons, leading off and pitching, number 13, Blake Jacoby. Batting second and catching number six, Match, Max Konichny. Konichny, sorry, that's going to take me a second. I have not done Columbus Catholic, so it's Konichny, so bear with me on that. Batting third and playing shortstop number five, Emmett Konichny. There we go. See, better the second time. Batting fourth and playing first base number 25, Cy Becker. Batting fifth and playing third base number 10, Devlin Timler. 
Batting sixth and playing second base, number 20, Carson Eckes. Batting seventh and playing left field, number seven, Drew Lang. Batting eighth and playing center field, number 11, Alex Edwards. And batting ninth and playing right field, number three, Nate Nemitz. And the Dons in their dark blue uniforms. Dark blue uniforms. Prentice in their black uniforms with red letters as despite what the scoreboard says, Columbus is technically the away game. Again, Prentice did just finish up a game. They played Cumberland. Fortunately, without the scoreboard, I did not see the final score. I know that really makes me look really bad as a broadcaster not knowing the score. But Either way, it's Prentice just trying to improve on a, a tough year. Again, a one-win season last year. As you can see, Ryder Jones warming up. Yeah, and we went over the starting lineups. We'll talk about the defensive alignment for the Buccaneers. And left, you got ja you got Jonas Staroba. Then you got Aiden Hawes in center and Adam Robb in right. And in the infield, you got Heston Heckman at third, Elia Harding at short, Jax Franz at second, Garrett May at first. You got Hardy Heckman behind the plate with Ryder Jones on the mound. First action of the season for Columbus Catholic. Had some games scheduled, but again, as I said, the weather has not been our friend here in central Wisconsin. And even as you go further south, again, this is Wisconsin Dells area, if you are not familiar exactly where Mauston is. Beautiful complex here. Again, a pioneer theme. I don't know if many people are into that, but um, again, with the camera, I'm going to try my best. The wind is not being my friend with the camera. It is out on a patio. That's why you're seeing that little railing there. But this is probably going to be the best vantage point I have. Again, it's a little clustered in here. Again, other games, other teams just from Wisconsin that are here. Um, yeah, Cumberland, obviously. Then you had uh, Medford is here. Yeah, and there's also softball going on. Jack Rosicki, you got double the Jack, double the fun here today. Jack Rosicki's on the call for softball. I believe one of those games has already started. That is also going to be Columbus Catholic. That is the team we are here to cover today. Again, if you want to check out Medford, go check on Sports Focus for that. The guy sitting, yeah, he was here. But either way, it looks like we are all ready to go as Blake Jacoby ready to step in against Jones. And here is the first pitch, and it's low, and we're underway here in Mauston. Glad you can make us a part of your Saturday here on Zaleski Sports. Jones ready in his second offering, 1-0 here on Jacoby. And that is dropped in there nicely. Good off speed there from Jones. Count even a ball and a strike. And I will keep you updated with that. With no producer, we don't do balls and strikes. So I will keep you up on the count as best as I can. Here is the break-even pitch, and Jacoby on the ground to first. And it is going to be an easy play for Garrett May. And there's one down here in the first inning. That'll bring on Max Konichny. And that is low and outside. One ball and no strikes on Max Konichny. Again, Columbus Catholic coming off, I would say, just a somewhat successful winter season, a boys' state championship in basketball. 1-0 to Konichny, and that is outside, 2-0. Two, two pitches from Jones in this at-bat, and they've been very well outside of the strike zone. 2-0. Two zero, and that is low. Count is in the favor of Konichny. Three balls and no strikes. Again, you don't know what you're going to see yet from Columbus. They have not played a game, so this first inning is going to be 
a telltale of what we're going to see as that hits the corner for a strike, three and one. Finally, one is good for Ryder Jones. Here's a 3-1, and that is fouled off, and his count is now full. Three balls and two strikes as Jones has battled back from 3-0 to make it 3-2. And Blake Jacoby grounded out to first. Here's the 3-2, and that is fouled off again, and we'll do it again. Knishny hanging tough. Jones able to battle back after he fell down 3-0. Full count, three balls and two strikes. Here's the 3-2 again. On the ground, right back to Jones, off his glove. He regathers, throws to first in time, and there is out number two. Good job by Jones to stick with that. That was hit pretty hard by Knishny. Hit the mound, I think, before it hit his glove, so it took an awkward hop, but he was able to keep it in front of him and make the nice play, and it goes 3-1 on the putout. No, sorry, 1-3 on the putout. And that'll bring on Emmett Konichny, two outs. Jones trying to make this a 1-2-3 first. First pitch is high, one ball and no strikes on Emmett Konichny. And in outfield playing very shallow, which is a little bit of a shock for a th when you're dealing with the three hitter, as that is going to hit the corner. That was a low, that was a late strike call. Two outs, nobody on. Count even, one ball and one strike on Emmett Konichny. Break even pitch is swung on and missed. Big cut. And the Konichny was trying to make a statement right there saying, we haven't played a game, but we're going to show you that Columbus Catholic hasn't missed a beat. And he came up empty. It was a good healthy cut, but came up short. One and two. Jones trying to finish off the first. Here it is. And that is wild. Gets away from the catcher, Heckman. Count is even two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Jones ready, Konichny ready. Here it is, and that is low and outside. Count is now full, three balls and two strikes. Jones ready, it's a payoff pitch, and that is fouled away. And again, this is the second at Second time we've had one of these counts where it's been 3-2 and Konichny, and the other one was Max Konichny, and that Konichny doing the same thing as his brother. He's hanging tough. Three balls and two strikes. Jones ready. 3-2, and that is low and outside, and that is a two-out walk for Emmett Konichny and the first base runner of the game for Columbus Catholic. And that'll bring on Cy Becker, the first baseman. Konichny with a short lead off first. First pitch to Becker, and that is outside throw back to first, and Konichny is back. I don't really know if Heckman really was necessarily thinking he was going to pick him off, but he was just basically scaring Konichny back to the bag. 1-0 on Becker. Here it is. And that is low, 2-0 as Konichny swipes second. I guess they were right in keeping an eye on him as he takes second. So a runner at second now with two outs, 2-0 two and oh on Becker. Here's a 2-0. Oh. And that is in there for a strike. Hit that low part of the zone. It was a good pitch there from Jones, and he gets back in the count. It's 2-1. Two, two balls, one strike, runner at second, two outs here in the top of the first inning. 
2-1. And Becker fouls one off, and the count is even. Two balls and two strikes. And Jones got Jacoby and Max Konichny, and then he walked Emmett Konichny. He has the count even at two balls and two strikes here on Cy Becker. The 2-2. Two -two. And he got him looking. First strikeout of the day for Ryder Jones, and it ends the threat. We have played a half an inning. Prentice coming up. We're scoreless here on Zaleski Sports. Back after these messages. Bauer and Fine has been based in Marshfield since 1955. And if you're in business that long, you're obviously doing many things right. We always focus on selling world-class products, backing it up with world-class customer support. Working with Barnfine Business Technologies has been a pleasure. We have staff on call that we can call if we ever have issues, and the printer usability has been really easy, user-friendly. Give us a call, visit our website. We'd be happy to come in, talk to you. Maybe there's a way we can help you save some money and work more efficiently. Chili Implement, located just west of Marshfield in Chile, is your Kubota dealer in central Wisconsin. Big or small, Chili Implement has all the best equipment waiting for you. From farm tractors to lawn care, plus work and have fun in a Kubota side-by-side. -side. Choose Chili Implement for your parts and service too. Chili Implement, open Monday through Saturday to serve you and 24-7 online at ChiliImplement.com. Blake Jacoby ready to take the mound here against Prentice as they'll get their first cracks at Jacoby. Columbus Catholic held scoreless in the first. They had a base runner on the walk to Emmett Konichny, but got to second, and that was the furthest he got as Heston Heckman ready to lead off. Again, we'll tell you about how the Don stack up defensively. You got... Drew Lang in left, Alex Edwards in center, Nate Nemitz in right. Then in the infield, you got Devlin Timler at third. Emmett Konichny at short. You got Carson Eckes at second. Cy Becker at first with Max Konichny behind the plate and Blake Jacoby on the mound. And Heckman, Staroba, and Heckman do up for Prentice. I can almost say that Columbus is wearing their Blue Bombers uniforms, very reminiscent with the pinstripes to the New York Yankees. If we have any people who hate the Yankees, I'm sorry to sour your, sa I'm sorry to sour your Saturday. Wow, that is a tongue twister. But So we're ready to go here with Jacoby. As his first offering is high, 1-0 on Heston Heckman. One oh. And Heckman big cut and a miss. Count even one ball and one strike. One one. And that is gonna catch the zone. One and two. Good pitch there from Jacoby. Count is now in his favor. This will probably be my only time of Columbus Catholic this year. We'll see. Never know exactly where I'm going to go. One ball and two strikes. Jacoby ready. Fires and deals. And that is fouled off, and we'll do it again as Heckman stays alive. Today's game is brought to you by SES Swiderski. An apartment or home from them is where you want to live, work, and play all throughout the central Wisconsin, Chippewa Valley, and Fox Valley. No matter where you live, look to SC Swiderski, and that is high. Count even two and two. Again, they'll make you feel right at home. Visit scswiderski.com for more. And Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center is Hiller's True, Hiller's True Value. Get the tools you trust for the people you can depend on at Hiller's True Value in Marshfield. Fly ball into right, and that'll drop in front of Nemitz for a base hit. First hit of the game for either team, and the first batter reaches for Prentice. And that'll bring on Jonas Staroba. And 
Prentice was in the same conference as Abbotsford Colby, who had a very good team last year. Squaring to bunt is Starobo. That gets away from Konichny, and going to second is Heckman. Again, Starobo squared to bunt, and we'll see if he still squares. That might have been a way to just distract the infield while Heckman took off. Coach Rob seemed very calm when I talked to him before the game as there is no square this time, and that hits the corner, outside corner, one and one. Jacoby takes a look at second. Break-even pitch is hit into center field. On the run is Edwards. He will make the catch. Heckman retreats back to second, and he'll stay put. And there is out number one. Good job by Edwards to flag that down. He was kind of in an awkward position. It was kind of hit in the gap. And again, with Nemitz playing closer to the line on that play, it was pretty much Edwards or it was going to drop in. And if that drops in, Heckman probably scores. He runs very well. Either way, an out. And that'll bring on Hardy Heckman, the catcher. With Heston at second, Jacoby takes a couple looks at Heckman. And now Hardy Heckman scoring. He pops it up and... That'll be a foul ball. This is the third baseman, Timler. I think he tripped over the bag. Or he just lost his footing. One of the two. Either way, it totally happens. So it'll be 0-1 on Heckman. And then we'll see if he squares again. Very fortunate that that wasn't caught. When you're trying to bunt, that's one of the worst things you can do is pop it up. The 0 1. And he doesn't square, and that is inside. Good block there by Konichny. And count even 1 and 1. We have some other games going on today. Again, you can check that out at zaleskisports.com or on YouTube. You can just type in Zaleski Sports on YouTube. Here's a big cut and a miss. And it's 1 and 2 now on Hardy Heckman. Heckman steps out of the box just to regather himself. One ball and two strikes. One, two. Heckman, fly ball into left. Lang coming over near the line. He runs. He can't get it. It's a foul ball. And we'll do it again. Runner at second. Heckman single to start the inning. Advanced on a wild pitch. One, two again. And Heckman fouls it off and will do it again as he keeps fighting. That's a called strike three. Fly ball into right, that's going to fly foul and out of play. Go one to Hawes. Swing and a miss, 0 2. Two outs, runner at second.
the 0-2. And that catches the outside corner. It's a called strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Jacoby. After the hit, he settles down. We have played one. We're going to the second. We are... We are scoreless here in Mauston. We'll be back after these messages on Zaleski Sports. Wondering what to feed your team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite. From the classic hamburger to the famous Chips Champ and everything in between, check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds and ice cream served year round. In a hurry? Same great menu in the drive-thru. Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin. Witness Rapids. the difference of a Catholic education at Columbus Catholic Schools. I think everyone should just know uh, what makes this place special. Come and see. That's just what the Lord always said. And put your toe in the water. There are great schools and it's a good fit. I'd always want them to come in and to just feel the goodness and the family atmosphere. I invite everyone just to come in and see what it's about and to see if it might be right for them and their family. We invite you to schedule a tour today. Back after the commercial break, scoreless after one. Today's game is brought to you by Sports Scene in Marshfield. It's your official fanware store for players, jerseys, hats, autograph memorabilia, and more. Sports Scene up the stairs from World Buffet in the Marshfield Mall. And Stop Construction, their premier builder of municipal and industrial water and wastewater treatment systems in the Midwest. Stop Construction, a 100% employee-owned company. That is going to hit the corner for a strike on Devlin Timler. And Columbus had a base runner in the top of the first. It was a walk to Emmett Konichny as that's low. And 2-0 and oh now. Sorry, 1-1. One and one. one ball and one strike. the 1-1, and that is low. Two balls and one strike. Two, 2 one On the ground to second base, and it eats up the second baseman, Franz, and Timler will reach. I would rule that an E4. I don't really know how else you could rule that. Either way, a base runner for Columbus to start things out. Yeah, and it wasn't that Timler didn't have a play on it. He just came up empty. I think it... it, it just took a bad hop. So here's Carson Eckes now. The first baseman inside, and that gets away, and on his way to second is Timler. That almost hit Eckes. I don't know how Eckes got out of the way of that. Runner at second, one out. Sorry, no outs. It's early in the morning. Jones looks 1-0 to... Eckes is low. Two balls and no strikes now on Eckes. Jones looks at the runner and fires. And Eckes fouls one off, and that'll be out of play and rolling into the bullpen on the other field. Strain that out. That's a good, clean single to left field. Might even be a double if it hooks down the line. That's a good piece of contact. It just didn't go the way of Columbus. Throw back to first, and now that throw goes into center field. 
And on his way to second is Ekes. Oh, now that's going to go to third. That is going to go over the head. And it'll bounce off the dugout. It's fortunate it didn't go in the dugout. That went over Heston Heckman's head. Really hard. Should have just hit the cutoff, man, at short. There was no way they were going to get Ekes at third. I mean, Ekes had to wait a second to get back up, but that would still have been a very, that would have been a long shot to get him. And fly ball into center. Very shallow coming in and making the catch. Throw to the plate is not in time, not even close. It'll be a sacrifice fly for Ekes. And the Dons strike first. They lead it. Oops. They lead it one to nothing. Despite a ball, despite without the courtesy of a hit. And that is inside one ball and no strikes. Oh no, that is a strike. I got to start getting organized here. One out, one nothing Columbus. The sack fly from Carson Eckes. Again, Timler aided by the fact that the throw to second was errant. There was a wild pitch. And almost could have scored ahead of that sack fly if the ball had gone into the dugout on that errant throw. And a big cut and a miss from Lang. One out, nobody on. One nothing Columbus leading the Buccaneers of Prentice. And a bit high, one and two. Jones ready. Jones just trying to work past that error and just move on. One, two is low. Count even two and two now. One, two. Fly ball popped up in the infield. Coming in and now making the catch is the catcher, Hardy Heckman. I don't know if he just lost it in the sun, but he misjudged it. And that's going to be an E2. So the second base runner of the inning for Columbus to reach on an error. Dons have had two base runners in this inning, and they, don't have a, they haven't had a hit in this game. Base runners have come courtesy of a walk and two errors on Prentice, and that'll bring on Alex Edwards now with a man on and one down here against Jones. Ryder Jones' defense is not helping him out. He's making the pitches. Really, he should have gotten out of this inning. Throw back to first, and back with a dive is Drew Lang. Oh, and that hits the corner. Throw down to second is low, and oh, he came off the bag. Wow. The throw was low. It was wide. It was not even close to the runner, but then Drew Lang came off the bag at the last second. That was a heck of a job on the awareness of Eliah Harding to slap the tag on him, and he is going to be caught That'll go down as a caught stealing. Here's the 1-1, one, one, and that's a swing and a miss. So two outs, it's a completely different story. Instead of having a runner at second with one out, now you got nobody on and two outs, and it's two and two, and now Jones is a strike away from getting out of this inning. 2-2, two, two, low. No, I'm sorry, now it's 2-2. Two, two. That was 1-2. I don't know why I keep adding pitches in my head. You see, this is this is why I'm not a math major in college. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. 2-2. Two, two. And a big cut and a miss, and that is the end of the inning. So despite two errors, Columbus only gets one. We have played one and a half here in Mauston. It is one nothing Columbus. We'll be back after these messages on Zalesi Sports. You're watching High School Baseball.
here from Mauston, Wisconsin. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. For over 50 years, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield has served the area with a talented expertise of a big city dentistry with a hometown feel. With our multi-specialty staff and board certified periodontics and orthodontics, Dental Clinic of Marshfield has solutions for your family. We take pride in being in network with an array of insurance companies to meet the needs of our communities and our patients. No matter what your dental need, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield will be there for you. Bottom of the second here in Mawson. one nothing Columbus Catholic on the sack fly from Carson Eckes after the error allowed Devin, Devlin Timlin, Timler to get to third. As today's game is brought to you by Arts Body Shop, quality auto body and framework since 1952. If you have an accident, let MACCI's 2024 Small Business of the Year give you a free estimate. Call Arts Body Shop on South Central Avenue in Marshfield. And Ag Country Farm Credit Services is a farmer-owned co-op offering a wide array of custom financing and financial services. From loans and leases to crop insurance and tax and records, they have you covered. Contact Ag Country in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford. There's Jacoby out for another inning. First pitch to Franz, and he flies one into right, and that is going to get down in the gap. Nemitz trying to cut it off. He does, and he'll get it in. A leadoff hit for Jax Franz, second hit of the game for Prentice. And that'll bring on Adam Robb, the right fielder. First pitch on the ground to third, and it gets by Timler. Franz on his way to second. He'll stop there. I would rule that an E5. I might be a little too critical with what I rule in error, but really, Timler should have had that. Just went right through his legs. So runners at second and first, nobody out. Prentice in business here. Kobe in some trouble, and the first pitch to Ryder Jones is cut on and missed. Outside. And Franz, you really probably don't need to worry about him stealing. Again, they're not even holding him on. And that is low throw back to first, and the throw is not handled by Becker. One ball and two strikes on Ryder Jones. Two is high. Count even two and two now. Two, two. Fly ball into center. Coming on is Edwards. He will make the catch. No tag from either runner. And there is out number one. Good job by Edwards to just flag that one down. He didn't have to go crazy with the throw. One out, two men on, and that'll bring on Garrett May. And first pitch is in there for a strike from Jacoby. And a big cut and a miss from May. 0-2. Two. The 
The 0-2. Outside, one ball and two strikes on Garrett May, the first baseman, the eight hitter. Both batters for Prentice reached to start the inning, a single and an error, and the one-two is cut on and missed by May, and there is out number two. So after Jacoby came, got into trouble with two runners on and nobody out, a fly out and now a strikeout, and there are two down, and that'll bring on Eliah Harding, the nine spot hitter for, oh, excuse me, wow. Buccaneers first pitch, and Harding pops it up. Second base, battling for it and making the catch is Carson Eckes, and that is the end of the inning. We have played two. You're watching High School Baseball on Zaleski Sports. one nothing Columbus after two, back after these messages. Let your job journey begin at Express Employment Professionals. Find hundreds of employers looking for a candidate like you, all in one place at one time. And let Express Employment help connect you with your future career. With locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford, you'll find local jobs right in your community, including direct hire and evaluation to hire opportunities. Express Employment specializes in light industrial, skilled trades, professional... An employee at once asked me to prioritize family, faith, and business. And I put them in that order in particular. For each one of our employees, it's family first. You do what is best for you and your family. Then the rest of it will take care of itself. It's about making sure you make the best decisions for you and your family. one nothing Columbus here in the top of the third. Spring has sprung at Blue's Hair Studio on North Central Avenue in Marshfield. The stylists at Blue Hair Studio are ready to help you get the best look for spring. Book your appointment with Blue's Hair Studio in Marshfield. Ryder Jones out for another inning. 9-1-2 due up for Columbus. Prentice let a good opportunity get away. They had two runners on with nobody out. Blake Jacoby able to battle back and retire the next three in order to keep the Dons on top. Again, the Dons do not have a hit yet, but they have a run. They've... Again, Devlin Timler reached on an error, got to second on a pass ball, and then after a fly out, after a, then after, no, I'm sorry, pass ball, then they tried to throw a second to pick him off, throw one into center, and he went to third and almost resulted in a run. The ball almost got thrown into the dugout, and then the sack fly from Carson Eckes. As here's Nate Nemitz, the right fielder, first pitch from Jones. Nemitz takes one outside, one ball and no strikes on the Don's right fielder. Again, game one of the two games we will be covering of Columbus today. They'll play Wabino Leona later. That is low and outside again. Two balls and no strikes on Nemitz. Again, we have some out-of-state teams. I believe we have a couple from Michigan. Actually, Medford is playing a team from Marquette, Michigan. Two balls and no strikes on Nate Nemitz. 2-0. Nemitz takes one high. Three balls and no strikes. Jones ready. 2-0. And Nemitz takes a strike. Again, that low part of the zone has been called for most of this game so far, so that's going to be something we're going to need to watch throughout the game. Jones ready, 2-1. No, sorry, the ball four. Second walk of the game issued by Jones. And Blake Jacoby will come up. He grounded out to first on a three unassisted his last time up. Here's the first pitch to Jacoby inside. One ball and no strikes on Blake Jacoby. One oh. 
Low, two balls and no strikes on Jacoby, the pitcher. And the team from Mondovi has just showed up as they're walking down under the camera. Throw back to first, and Nemitz is back. Two and zero on Jacoby Jones takes a look at Nemitz. Fires a two zero high and inside. Three balls and no strikes now on Jacoby. Again, Nemitz walked to start the inning, and now it's three and zero on Jacoby. And if you're Jones, you don't want to let an inning get away from you because no matter who you're playing, if you let an inning get away from you, it can turn ugly really quick. Three zero. And that is going to be in there for a strike. Good pitch from Jones. Here's a 3-1. And that is inside. Ball four. So back-to-back -back walks. Nemitz walked to start the inning. Now Jacoby... Draws a walk. The third walk of the game for the Dons. And Coach Rob on his way out to talk with his pitcher as Max Konichny is going to step in. We want to thank our game day sponsors, Hawkins Ash, Draxler Transport, Woodfield Inn and Suites, and Rems Funeral Home. Thank you for sponsoring Zaleski Sports today. The brief meeting at the mound between coach and pitcher is over. As Jones ready to step in against Max Konichny, who grounded out to Jones, and we got timeout called. And that drop. Oh, no. Sorry, they didn't call timeout. They called a balk. I think when he was going in his motion, he made a motion that he was going to start motion. I said motion too many times. And then he took the ball out of his glove, and then he did it again. I think that it was kind of a clutch in the motion. Again, it was something that could have easily been. Um, and that is popped up. Right field coming in and dropping it. It gets away from Rob. One run is in. Here comes Jacoby. Throw goes into second, and two runs are in. And it is 3-0 Columbus. Again, that would be one that I'd be interested to see how they rule that because Rob lost it in the sun. It looked like he was having, even when it was popped up, he had a heck of a time looking for that. You could either rule that a... a I believe it would either be a single and an error. It has to at least be an error. That is outside. One ball and no strikes. As the Prentice Buccaneers have just been shooting themselves in the foot with these errors to start this game. 3 nothing Columbus Catholic. And that hits the outside corner. Good pitch from Jones. And as a pitcher, that's tough because Jones has made good pitches. Again, that was a good pitch. You got him to pop it up. Just unfortunately, his defense has not been able to back him up. one to Emmett Konichny. And Konichny rips one into left field. That's down for a base hit. And now Max Konichny is going to wind it up. He's going to head for the plate. Here's a throw. It's a good one, and this tag is not in time. RBI single for Emmett Konichny. And it is now 4 nothing Columbus Catholic. Still nobody out. As here's Cy Becker. He struck out looking his first time up. 
The Dons have finally found. Here's a throw back to first and blocked by May. One ball and no strikes on Cy Becker. Again, the Dons looks like they've finally found their approach. They're going to be patient at the plate. one zero, -oh, and that hits the corner on the outside. One ball, one strike. Count even. And still nobody out. Nemitz and Jacoby walk to start the inning, then it hit or an error. I don't know what you want to rule that again. I don't have the luxury that the MLB announcers have. They have somebody scoring this game for them. And 1-1 one, one is high. 2-1. and one. Not a bad pitch from Jones. It just was a bit high. I can see Jones with his disapproval of that. It looked like a good pitch. I will agree with that. Again, when you don't have the box in front of you like they do in the MLB, it's tough, too. That is high. Three balls and one strike on Becker as Jones is having a hard time finding the strike zone in this inning. He did a good job in the first two innings to work around a couple of errors and 3-1, and that's inside. Throw down to throw down to second. I about to say that is ball four. So the throw down to second is going to be void of anything. I was struggling there for a second because Becker kind of stayed put. The way, ball four, two men on, and that'll bring on Carson Eckes. I'm oh, sorry, Devin, Devlin Timler. I need to learn how to read. Devlin Timler, who reached on an error his last time up, came around to score on the sack fly by, Drew, by Carson Eckes. As Timler takes one low and outside, one ball and no strikes. One zero. -oh. Outside, two balls and no strikes as Heckman pump fakes the runners back to the bag. Again, Coach Krasil just telling Becker, no, sorry, Timler, don't don't swing at anything you don't need to swing at. You got him on the ropes right now as Jones is just having a heck of a time finding the zone, and that's a good pitch in there for a strike. That's a pitch that Jones needed to restore some of his confidence. He had had some. It had been a while since he really hit the zone. Two and one on Timler. Three runs are in here in this third inning for Columbus. And Timler takes one low and outside. Throw down to second. And now they got the runner. And now they've got, they got Becker in a rundown throw. And now that gets away. And coming in to score is Konichny. What in the world is going on out there? Konichny took off, throw went to second. They looked at him, There was, and then Konichny took the bag. Then Harding pointed back to first to try to get Becker off the bag. They threw to Becker. He got him in a rundown. They threw back to second. Almost had Becker. Again, Becker fell down. Went to second. They overthrew it. Got away from Harding. And that allowed Konichny to score. Throw back to second and a pump fake. And Becker will go back to the bag. Again, still nobody out pitch. That is low. That is ball four and another base runner for the Dons. And Ryder Jones is just having a heck of a time. Here is Carson Eckes. He hit a sack fly his last time up and now we are going to get a pitching change. Ryder Jones is done. He's going to move to center and Aiden Hawes, no, I'm sorry, Jones will go to left, Hawes will come in to pitch, and Staroba will move to center. As we're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be back after these messages, 5-0 Dons here on Zaleski Sports. 
At the Granite Shop, we take great pride in what we do. We offer high quality natural stone granite as well as a huge selection of man-made stone. With full slabs as well as a variety of partial remnants, you'll have no problem finding the stone that was meant for you. Our high-end, high-quality granite, quartz, and marble is perfect for any kitchen, bathroom, or remodel need. We are locally owned and operated on County Road C near Stratford. We service all of Wisconsin. Twenty twenty three was a year of change, innovation, building something new, and teamwork. The HNS legacy is evolving, and we're carrying it forward. Designing equipment that helps farmers get the job done. Looking ahead to the future of farming while staying true to the values that have brought us this far and made us who we are today. HNS, strong heritage, strong people, stronger future. Aiden Hawes on the mound now for Prentice. Ryder Jones's day is done. He moves to left. And Jonas Staroba moves to center field. Carson Eckes again hit a sack fly his last time up. That drove in the first run. That was last inning. And now he steps on with two men on and nobody out. Hawes is inheriting a bit of a mess from Ryder Jones. First pitch. And fouled off by Eckes, 0-1. And, and Jones, those kind of outings are tough because he made good pitches. Again, he gave up a couple. He gave up really the only one that was really truly out of his control. I mean, he did walk f five batters, which doesn't help. The only one that I would really say that was out of his control was the RBI single by Emmett Konichny, but a lot of those were unforced errors. The last run the Dons got just... Bad communication as taking off and on his way to third. That gets away and rounding the bag. As Becker will stop at third. Timler goes to second. And two more runners in scoring position now. 2-0 and oh on Timler. That's our Eckes. 2-0. Inside, three balls and no strikes. Throw back to first, and now that is bobbled and coming to the plate and going to be a play. Becker's in. And now Timler around the bag. He'll stop. Another run is in. It's 6-0 Columbus. And you have to appreciate the effort from Heckman trying to pick off these runners, but six nothing Eckes. Has the count very much in his favor at 3-0. and oh. Here it is. And that is in there for a strike. Good pitch there from Hawes. Three one inside. That is ball. F okay, guess it's only three and one. I swear I. Ball three. Three one. And that's ball four. Just got had to wait about five seconds. Ekes draws a walk. So runners at the corners, nobody out, and that'll bring on Drew Lang. Reached on an error his last time up. That was that pop up that Hardy Heckman couldn't handle. And Lang, the left fielder today for Columbus. And Columbus will be battling Webino Leona next. First pitch is low, and that gets away, and Heckman can't find it. Coming to the plate and scoring is Timler. And all the way to third goes Eckes. And it's 7 nothing Dons. And these thing, things are just going from bad to worse right now for the Buccaneers. 7-0 Columbus looking for more. 
1-0 is in there for a strike. Good pitch there from Haas. Count even. Again, that didn't that didn't really get away like you'd see some wild pitches or pass balls. Heckman, it took a bad hop, and Heckman couldn't find it. 1-1. And that is low. 2-1 and one now on Lang. Six runs in here for the Dons in this third. That is low. It's three and one now on Lang. Alex Edwards due up next. Dons very close to batting around in this inning without a, a batter being retired. Here's a 3-1. And that is outside. Throw down to third and safe. No, that was... Full count. Sorry, that was a strike. I didn't see the strike signal. Eckes was back with a dive. It's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes on Lang. And Lang fouls it off, and we'll do it again. Three balls and two strikes. Hawes trying to tire Lang. Fly ball popped up, and Franz can't handle it. And coming in to score is Eckes. It was a little flare. It wasn't hit that hard. Another run is in. It's 8 nothing. And now here's Alex Edwards. And... Got a loose ball on the infield. And two walks to start the inning. Then two runs came in an error. Konichny had an RBI single. Becker walked. Then another error drove in another run. A pass ball. Again, it's just it's been a tough inning here for Prentice, and there's still nobody out. First pitch to Edwards, and Edwards takes it all the way right down the middle. It kicks away from Heckman for a moment. 0-1 on Edwards. Edwards struck out swinging his first time up. One or two strikeouts on the day for Ryder Jones. And Jacoby had a bit of a rocky first. He settled in in the second after letting the first two men reach, and that is outside. Kicks away from Heckman, but not far enough to warrant any advance from Drew Lang. Two one, and Edwards fouls it out of play. Count even two and two. Two balls, two strikes, 8 nothing. Columbus. Runner at first, nobody out. Seven runs have been in here for the Dons here in the third. 2-2. Two -two. And that is inside. That gets away. And rounding second. Bit of a turn, wide turn from Lang. He'll stop there. Here's the 3-2, and that is inside, ball four, on his way to third. Am I seriously like just missing these? I must just be missing pitches. I don't know what's going on. I don't really know. Okay. Either way, Lane goes to third. It's a pitch. And that is ball four. Walk to Edwards. Runners now at the corners for Columbus, and that'll bring on Nate Nemitz. He walked to start the inning. 
as Coach Rob on his way out again, and this might be the end of the day for Hawes. We'll see. Again, he's made one pitching change. Ryder Jones opened the inning, got into a lot of trouble, brought Hawes in, and Hawes, like Jones, is yet to record an out. As they are going to stick with Hawes, no change. Ain't nothing. Runners at the corners. Nemet stepping in against Hawes. And a big cut and a miss from Nemet, 0 and 1. Outside, 1 and 1. Got another stray ball. Again, they don't have the nets on the side of the field, like down the line, like they do in the MLB, which isn't surprising. So sometimes balls from other fields. Again, these all the three. There's three fields that are really close to each other, and that is low. Two balls and one strike on Nimitz. One and a big cut and a miss from Nemitz. Count even two and two. Too high and going to second now is Edwards. Nemitz was fortunate to get out of the way of that ball that was heading towards his head. Three, two. And now that gets away, and coming in to score is Drew Lang. As Nemitz draws his second walk of the inning, it's 9 nothing. Now Blake Jacoby will step up, 0 for 1 today, grounded out to first in the first inning and walked in this inning. An eight-run third here for the Dons, despite one hit. And a big cut and a miss from Blake Jacoby, 0-1. Yeah, one. Nemitz takes one high. Count even one and one. Break even pitch. Low and outside. Two balls and one strike now on Jacoby. Two and one. Jacoby fouls it off. Count even two and two. And Nemitz at first, Edwards at third. Two, two. Low, full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Two 
3-2. High and inside, and that is ball four. Another walk, second walk of the inning for Jacoby, and the bases are loaded for Max Konichny. And now Coach Rob back on his way out, and this is probably going to be the second pitching change of the inning for Prentice. Again, eight runs in, still nobody out. As we'll see who they're going to bring in. And Edwards at third, Nemitz at second, and Jacoby at first. As we're, our new pitcher is going to be Eliah Harding, the shortstop. As Ryder Jones moves to third, Heston Heckman moves to shortstop, and Hawes will go to left. Third pitcher of the inning used by Prentice. We'll see if Harding's, again, Harding's luck fares better than that of Ryder Jones and Aiden Hawes. Again, Columbus is just not biting on that outside area pitch, out of those outside area pitches. They're just not biting on it. As eight runs in and bases loaded with nobody out, full of Dons for the heart of the Dons order in Max Konechny, Emmett Konechny, and Cy Becker. Max Konechny. Reached on an error that allowed two runs to score. That's low and outside. One ball and no strikes on Match Konichny. He also grounded out to the pitcher in the first inning. So 0 for 2 today. His brother Emmett stands on deck. 1-0. And Konichny line drive off the glove of Heckman. One run is in. And the base has remained loaded. Everybody moves up 90 feet. Into score is Edwards. I would rule that a hit. That was hit like a rocket. Went off the glove of the new shortstop, Heston Heckman. And the bases are still loaded. It's 10 nothing. As we're going to have a courtesy runner. As looks like Coach Crassel doesn't want his catcher running. First pitch. And on the ground to short. Heckman's got it. He'll take it to the bag. He gets one and no play at first. One run is in. And there is finally the first out of this inning. Goes six unassisted on the fielder's choice. It's 11 to nothing, and that'll bring on Cy Becker. 0 for 1 with a strikeout and a walk today. Second at bat here in the third. First pitch to Becker. Becker, fly ball down the line, and can't make the catch is Rob. Another run's going to come in. In to score is Jacoby, and now winding up and coming home and scoring is Konichny. Two runs are in on the triple by Cy Becker. It's 13 to nothing. And 
Devlin Timler will come on. 0 for 1, reached on an error and walked. Has scored two runs as well. Becker at third. First pitch from Harding is going to hit the outside corner for a strike, 0 and 1. The 0 1. And Timler fouls it off. Inside, one and two on Timler. One, two. And now that gets away, and staying put is Becker. I wonder if Coach Krasselt is maybe saying, unless it's like, blatantly obvious that you're going to score maybe just don't bother again Don's had this game well in hand right now and on the ground Heckman fields throws to first high throw but it is in time 6-3 on the put out another run is in it's 14 to nothing So an RBI for Devlin Timler and two outs for Carson Eckes. Eckes on the ground to first, and that's a fair ball. It gets through May's legs, and Eckes will reach. So another base runner for the Dons for Drew Lang. He's reached on two errors. First pitch to Lang, and Lang rips one foul down the line. Prentice will have one, two, three due up here in the bottom of the third with a very steep hill to climb to say the latest, to say the least, I should say. A one. And a little chopper to third. Fielding it is Jones. Jones throw is He's out. They appealed at the plate. It was a close play. And the inning is finally over. Damage done. Eleven runs for the Dons. All Columbus Catholic. Fourteen nothing. Bottom of the third coming up here on Zaleski Sports back after these messages. Hiller's True Value in Marshfield, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. The tools you trust from the people you can depend on. Shop the store within a store and find what you're looking for. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Now that's what I was looking for. Looks like you found what you're looking for. We redesigned our store to offer the biggest selection of Milwaukee tools. A selection so big you'll need a map to find your way out. Hiller's True Value in Marshfield, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. Hello, I'm Jenny Shaner, Realtor, Next Home Hub City. If you're a first time home buyer or seller, or you've been around the block, because of my experience, I'm able to help you in the most efficient way. I'm a full time, full service realtor. I focus on my clients 100%. Let's work together as a team for a win in your next real estate transaction. Fourteen nothing as we got a new pitcher. As Devlin Timler 
now on the mound. He and Blake Jacoby switch places. Timler on the mound and Jacoby at third. As Heston, Heckman, Jonas Staroba, and Hardy Heckman do up for Prentice with the Buccaneers trailing the Dons 14 to nothing. Dons scoring, if you ever want to look it up, it's one run in the second, 13 in the third. Kobe pitches two innings, gives up two hits, no runs, and three strikeouts. Fly ball into right, coming in is Nemitz, calling for it. He makes the catch, and one pitch, one out for Devlin Timler. Heckman single in his first at bat, so that'll make him one of two on the day. Here's Staroba, flew out to center his first time up, and that's a strike on the outside corner. 0-1 on Staroba, who is now in center field. He started out and left, got moved in the defensive switch on the pitch, pitching change. A little flare off the glove. I think that went off the glove of Timler and into center field for a base hit. Third hit of the day for Prentice. First hit of the day for Staroba. And a one-out base runner for Hardy Heckman. Heckman struck out looking. Timler takes a look at first. First pitch and a line drive up the middle. And this could be two, four, six... Three. Double play, and after a hit, the, Pir the Buccaneers leave one stranded. We've played three complete. It is all Dons, 14-0 Columbus Catholic. We'll bring you the top of the fourth after these messages. You're watching High School, Basque High School Baseball Saturday afternoon on Celeski's Need a new mattress? All Furniture in downtown Marshfield has mattresses, and you can save like never before. We have stacks of mattresses, save big on factory liquidations and closeouts, one-of-a-kind items, and mismatched fabrics. Save on special purchases and rollback pricing on two-sided flippable mattresses. Discounts on adjustable bases and even clearance pricing on floor models. The furniture people for good home furnishings. Small furniture where value is yours. After a couple years of a job that doesn't fit, it's time for more money, more opportunity. That is where Mid-State Technical College comes in. Would cooking be a good fit? Try on a career in welding. Perhaps the outdoors suits you better. Or maybe helping people is a better fit. No matter your path, we've got cutting-edge classes with field-trained professionals and better tuition options, making Mid-State the perfect fit. Eliah Harding out for another inning, 14-0. Columbus Catholic leading the Buccaneers of Prentice. Top of the fourth here on Zaleski Sports. Drew Lang, I'm sorry. Alex Edwards ready to lead off. For Columbus, Dons have 8-9-1 due up. Edwards 0 for 1, strikeout and a walk. Don's almost batted around twice in that inning. Two batters away from doing it. Oh, 
Harding's first pitch to Edwards is high and outside. One ball and no strikes. One oh. That's low. Two balls and no strikes on Edwards. And a big cut and a miss from Edwards. It's two and one. It's a two one. Edwards, big cut and a miss. Count even two and two. Edwards wants that one back. You could see it. Frustrated he came up empty on that swing. That is low. Full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Last year I was here, it was Amherst. Again, they have different teams here every year, a different mix. 3-2, and a big cut and a miss. And there is the first strikeout of the day for Eliah Harding. As Nate Nemitz will now step up. Nemitz has walked twice today. First pitch by Harding is fouled off by Nemitz. It's 0-1. One and Nemitz is low. Count even one and one. One one. Two and one now. So that's low. Again, please don't go too far. We're gonna have another game today as Columbus Catholic will play with Bino Leon. A big cut and a miss from Nemitz. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. We'll do it again. Things started off pretty well for Prentiss. They held Columbus scoreless in the first. They gave up a run, but with how that inning started, they were fortunate to just only give up one. And that's fouled off again by Nemitz, and we'll do it once more. And last inning, it just fell apart. They just had trouble finding the strike zone, but this is a good experience. You're playing a good team like Columbus. This is what you need as Prentiss to get better. you got to play teams like this. Just get better. This pitch. And inside... That's fouled off again by Nemitz. Kind of an awkward swing. I don't know if he really wanted to foul that one off. That was inside. He kind of stuck the bat out, and it hit the bat. This pitch. And that bounces in the dirt, and the count is now full. Here's the pitch. A little flare. That is going to drop in for a base hit as Franz had a long way to go. It's a single for Nemitz, his first hit of the game. He's reached for the third time today. And a one-out hit for Nemitz. And we're going to have... All right, folks, this is really embarrassing. If you are a Columbus Catholic fan, I do not have number 15 on my roster. If you could tell me what his name is, that would be great. I really apologize. This is super embarrassing. Here's the first pitch. Hi, 1-0. and all. If you know his name, please tell me. That would be great.
is a 1-0. Inside, 2-0. Again, you can use our comment section. That would be great. I do apologize. 2-0. That is a little bit high and outside. It's 3-0 and now. Yeah, number 15. I do have a Brandon Lang as they have two number 14s, but I'm not sure if that's who that is. So, again, the Dons have a lot of players in their dugout. 3-0. Fly ball. Down the right field line, that'll go foul and out of play. Here's the 3-1. 2-1. Three two. Here it is. And that's ball four. Two men on now. Thank you, Isaac. Um I'm going to assume it's Ray Becker because that was the other 14. And then number eight, who is not listed on with Sportsnet. High and inside, 1-0. and Again, if you know number eight, I apologize. I do not have him on the roster. Again, these may be updated as the season goes on. One oh. Swing and a miss. Count even one and one. Thank you for commenting. I appreciate that. Again, that's one of the most embarrassing moments for me when I don't have a player on my roster because I don't know his name and I feel really bad about that. Here's the one one popped and out of play, one and two. So your help is very much appreciated. One, two. That is low. Count even. Two balls and two strikes. Two, two. That is a called strike three. As here is Emmett Konichny. Konichny is walked, singled, and reached on a fielder's choice. And his three at bats. Two outs, two men on. Konichny takes a strike inside. 0 and 1. Harding just trying to limit the damage, try to make this game as long as possible. Fly ball into left, coming on and dropping in front. Of Staroba. And the bases are loaded. Outside, ball one to Sidebecker. Apologize, I had to look at something real quick. One zero to Becker. 
And that hits the zone. Count even one and one. Okay, that's very helpful as well. They're freshmen. So Carter Summer was number eight. Thank you. And that is low. Two and one now on Becker. Again, I very much apologize for that, but it's it's hard when you don't know a school very well and then um, – they don't have it available on the site you go for most references for Wisconsin high school sports. Here's the 2-1. That hits the outside corner. Count even 2-2 two and two now on Becker. Good off. Again, that changeup from Harding is pretty nasty. If you can use it the right way, it's going to be a deadly pitch for him going forward. It's a good-looking changeup, good off speed. It can really fool hitters. 2-2. Two, two. Becker takes one in the dirt. Nice stop there by Heckman behind the plate. Count is full. Three balls and two strikes. Nowhere to put them right now. Base is loaded. 3-2 is a called strike three. And the inning is over. It was a bit generous, but a strikeout nonetheless. We are going to the bottom of the fourth. 14 nothing Columbus Catholic. We'll take a commercial break and be back after this. Good day. My name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fierce, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fedecaseri, Cafeteria, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edom, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Hi, I'm Shai from Next Step Prosthetics. Five years ago, we opened our practice to provide life-changing prosthetics that are both comfortable and functional. I would definitely recommend Shy. Shy is very compassionate, caring. We've grown to serve patients throughout Wisconsin. We want to thank them, their families, and providers who have trusted us on the journey. Go to Next Step, because it's gonna change your life. Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no obligation evaluation. Let us take the next step together towards a better life. Fourteen nothing Columbus Catholic. Carter Summer is in center. As Devlin Timler Back out for another inning. Had a good inning last out. Last inning in the bottom of the third. Forced a double play. And paced the minimum with the help of that um, double play. As we'll see, I think Coach Rob is probably going to put some of his bench guys out. Some of the secondary starters. And give them some at bats here. As Aiden Hawes spot on the order is coming up. As Nicholas Nicola will pinch hit for him. One oh. Nicola fouls it off. Count even one and one. Meanwhile, Zach Starkey standing on deck for the Buccaneers. Yeah, most likely this will be a five inning game. We'll see. One one. And Nicola fouls it off again. One and two. It's a good cut. Six, 
One, two. High, two and two now. And Tim Ware may just be two, two, swung on and missed. Out number one here in the bottom of the fourth. First strike out of the day for Timler. And Starkey's going to come on and hit. All right, Prentice fans, I need your help as that is in there for a strike on Starkey. If you are a Prentice fan and you know who number 14 is, Name-wise, that would be very helpful if you could let me know who that is. You know, one low and inside. Count even one and one on Starkey as the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. Again, for a s early April day, I will take this. The sun's out. Last time I was here, it was snowing. And that's high and inside, two and one. They did actually get better at the end, but last year it was snowing and raining. It just was not a great morning. And after Amherst and Denmark got done, the weather for Amherst Hudson was a lot better. Swung on and missed. And it's two and two now on Starkey. Again, if you are a Prentice fan, we hope you have we hope we have some Prentice fans watching. Again, I want to thank Isaac Dalkey for helping me with the names and a swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts. Again, I Again, he's probably a freshman, which is probably also why he's not on here. So first pitch is in there for a strike. Oh and one. And number fourteen, I'm gonna just call him number fourteen again. I apologize for that. I f I am so embarrassed when that happens. The you know, one swung on a miss though and two. Two outs. Tim we're ready. The 0 2. And that is a called strike three. And that is the end of the inning as Timler K's the side. We have played four complete. 14 0 Columbus Catholic. We're going to the fifth on Zaleski Sports. And we'll be back after these messages. Partners make together. We know how a bank should be at Partners Bank. Banking should be easier, treating our customers as valued and important. Services should be better with online and mobile banking and locations close to where you live and work. Loans should be quicker, and we make all decisions locally with years of experience helping people with their financing needs. Partners Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Partners Bank, better together. Buy three Goodyear tires and one is free has been extended at Sherrill Tire and Auto Service. Plus get up to $200 back on four installed Goodyear tires when you use the Goodyear credit card. Buy three and one is free in March at Sherrill Tire and Auto. Find your location at SherrillTire.com. After the commercial break, top of the fifth, 14 nothing Columbus Catholic here on Zaleski Sports. Grady May on to pitch now for Prentice. As Harding moves to third. As Starkey moves to second, 14 is at first. We'll see what coach. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, big stretch. Sorry. I would also like a little tip. If you're tired, your vision's not very good. Because I was supposed to leave at 8 o'clock this morning, and I looked, and it was actually 6 o'clock. So when you're tired, your vision's not that great. So it's been a long morning. This is the first pitch from May, and that is in there for a strike. Yo, one. And that's in there for a strike again. It's 0 2 quickly. Yeah, number 24 due up for Columbus. Again, probably another freshman not on with sports. 0 2. And that is a called strike three in a quick at bat. Strikeout for May, his first. And. May's first pitch is in there for a strike. And that's another strike for May. He's pouring them in. Five pitches, five strikes. May ready, the 0-2. Swing and a miss. He got him. Back-to-back, three-pitch strikeouts. And a chopper. That'll stay fair. Fielded by 14. He steps on the bag, and that is the end of the fifth. A seven-pitch inning for... Grady May, we have played four and a half. Bottom of the fifth coming up. You're watching high school basketball. I don't know why. I basketball. Baseball. On Zaleski Sports will be back after these messages. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older. I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys. Me. <laughs> Hey, Mike, I'm Sheila from Security, and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood, and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? The Sports Den, located on Marshfield's sunny south side since 1975. The Sports Den has the area's best selection of outdoor equipment, fine top brands of snowshoes, cross-country and downhill skis, snowboards, swimming equipment, skateboards, and more. The Sports Den has a full-service bike repair center along with top bike brands, specialized Trek, and others. The Sports Den is Central Wisconsin's Fat Bike Headquarters. Visit the Sports Den in Marshfield Monday through Saturday and thesportsden.net. Bottom of the fifth here in Mauston. As Carson Eckes now on to pitch. Again, game one of our two-game coverage of Columbus Catholic. I want to apologize for not being at my best calling. It's new season today and just not really my best stuff right now in this game, so I apologize. I will do better in the second game. Um, but thank you for watching today. We appreciate it. Um, we hope you stay tuned again. Check out some of our other games going on. we got a lot on the schedule today. I know Edgar and Marathon were going at it, a Merrillwood battle there. As Eckes can finish this one off. First pitch on the ground. That is going to sneak through a base hit. So leadoff base runner, and that will bring on Grady May. 
May had a good inning on the mound. Two strikeouts on six pitches and then a ground out on one. That is in there for a strike on May. Harding standing on deck. And in there for a strike, 0-2 now on Grady May. Grady instead of Garrett. Grady batting in the eighth spot, as Garrett May did in early in this game. And the 0-2 is fouled off by May, and he stays alive. Go to swing and a miss. He got him. Strikeout for Eckes, his first. And that'll bring on Eliah Harding. One gone here in the fifth. And that's in there for a strike on Eliah Harding. One chopper foul. Owen two. And you take the third inning out of it. Prentice has done a good job today. They and again they had chances to get out of innings to eliminate runs, but unfortunately they just kind of hurt themselves with those errors and the walks, just those unforced errors. And that is going to be in there for a called strike three. Harding down on strikes. And back to the top of the order, Heston Heckman, which is the last chance for Prentice here in this game to extend it. Again, Prentice needs five to make this a seven-inning game. And there's two gone. Eckes first pitch. Heckman lines one on the ground to short. Knitschke play at second. They got him at second. That's a fitting way to end this game. With how all the crazy stuff that happened, it went under the glove of Konichny, Konichny, went right to Becker. He stepped on the bag. Game over. Crazy ending. Final score, 14 nothing. Columbus Catholic. They win. Prentice loses. Columbus is 1-0. and Prentice is 0-2 as the... Dons will play Wabino Leona next. We're going to have another game between that. That's going to write a finish to our coverage of this game. Again, final score, Columbus 14, Prentice 0. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this coverage, and we'll see you later for Columbus and Wabino Leona right here on Zaleski Sports. Have a great rest of your Saturday, and hopefully we'll see you in a little bit for Columbus and Wabino Leona on Zaleski Sports.